So one of the most common questions we get asked on the bandsaw is what is the correct tension on the bandsaw blade? We've got a device set up here which is including the dial test indicator that's actually going to measure the stretch on a bandsaw blade. But to get that stretch we need to make sure we've got a good frame in place. So on the record bandsaw you've probably noticed we have a double spine on there that gives it the strength as well as the fabrication inside the top and bottom boxes that hold the wheel. And that's going to allow us to stretch that blade to the measurement required. Now what we're after on a bandsaw blade is between 17 and 20 thousand pounds per square inch. So if we just check what we've got on this one, you can see we're right up there at 20,000 which is perfect for a blade of this size. But obviously we're not always going to have a device like this to measure the correct tension. So let's have a look how we would tension up a blade on the standard bandsaw. Okay, so we're going to take the fixture off that gives us the accurate measurement of the bandsaw blade. Put that to one side because that's calibrated on a regular basis. What we're looking at now is how do we feel for the tension on the bandsaw. Now, the worst thing you can do is if the tool post is high up and we feel the blade here, it's going to feel like the blade's pretty loose. At the same time, if we take the tool post all the way down, the lower we go, the tighter the blade's going to feel, even though we've done no adjustments. So this is probably the worst place to feel for the tension. The best place to feel, no matter what bandsaw you've got, because obviously we range with different diameter wheels and different bandsaws, so from the 250 right up to the 450, if we come to the bottom of the wheel and come across, this is again as a precise measurement and it's going to be the same feel on every bandsaw no matter what size you've got. And what I look at doing is feeling a little tip, I put my hand around the frame, use my thumb, and then as my thumb starts to go white, I've got about a quarter inch movement from centre going away. Again, I don't want it too loose so I can press it easily up to onto the frame, but at the same time I don't want it too tight so there's hardly any movement at all. Like I said, we're looking at 6mm or quarter inch movement from centre in this mode. And then, no matter what bandsaw we've got, whether you've got a big manufacturing bandsaw or a bench top machine, it's going to be the same sort of feel you're going to get throughout the range of bandsaws. Obviously on this machine, we've got the tension at the top and the quick release at the back that helps to take the blade on and off and change it over and get the right tension again. We've also got a blade tension indicator here. That's going to be roughly right. That's going to give you about right but what you've got to remember a good blade manufacturer when he produces the blade for instance this one's under 11 inch long but it will have been cut to the nearest tooth so either just before or just after it depending on the tpi of the blade itself so it might be a little bit longer it might be a little bit shorter up to quarter an inch tolerance either way which obviously is going to make a di difference on the tension indicator so that's why I'm saying to you, it's going to be roughly right with that, but not accurate. So we're better off getting a nice feel and getting used to that feel when we're using the bandsaws. Obviously, when you finish with your bandsaw, you can drop the tension off. But always remember, when you drop the tension off, when you go back to the machine and you put the tension back on to run it, always just rotate it by hand to make sure it's tracked back in the same position and that the guides are okay and they're adjusted correctly. Obviously on this one again we've got the, the tracking or the window that tells us that the blade's in the right position, the guy's in the right position, so then we can close the doors which bring the limit switches back in, plug the machine back in because we've had it unplugged while we've been doing this operation and we're safe to go and hopefully we can get some good cuts. So let me know if there's any questions on that, come back to us and we'll try our best to help you.